Okay, car's all packed. There's, uh, there's not a lot of room back there. That's where my brother's gonna sit. Uh, we got the trunk, it's all good. And uh, yep, packed to the windows. Very laptop bag. Good. <laughs> but, no! No! Okay, so we're here in uh, Orlando. It took us what, two hours? Probably a little less, but yeah. Okay, so about two hours to get here. Uh, how was the front seat for you? I thought it was amazing. You should have been up there. I should have. I should have totally been up there. All right, well, check-ins tomorrow. So yeah, check-in, TTFN. Wow, it's bright. I cannot see my display. Hopefully I'm in the shot. Anyway, let's talk about check-in. So, check-in uh, is a little different this time from the first time I did it. Um, when I last did it, it was show up at whatever time. So people would show up at like five, I showed up at six, we just camped out to like 7.30 and I met a ton of people. Um, but this time they give you a uh, time they like you to come. Uh, mine was 10 to 11 and I showed up at nine. Uh, but that wasn't really a big issue. Um, it only matters for getting past security and uh, maybe for convenience for the people doing all the check-in stuff. But uh, there wasn't any issue with it. I brought my dorms paperwork that had my barcode on it, which is what they requested. And then I just went in line and it was a quick little zigzag and then in, into the uh, welcome center. So uh, I guess from the, from the back of the zigzag to me going in, it was like 25, 30 minutes maybe. But uh, once you're in the welcome center, you're going to go to your first uh, little booth and um, when you're in line they gave you these these booklets that uh, have a lot of fancy information in it that I forgot about. These are called program guides and they also give you these uh, paper name tags which I already took off. So that's how they know who you are. Um, yeah, so this first booth kiosk thing they're going to ask for your uh, name because they're going to put a sticker on the back of your guidebook that says where you're working. And I already knew it was going to be bell service, but now I'm going to be Caribbean Beach bell service. And I've barely ever been to the Caribbean Beach, so I'm probably going to go there with my friends and find out some more things about it in the next coming days since I can't get into the parks. And we'll see from there. Um, directly after that booth, you get into a short line to get your housing assignment. And I did fill out the paperwork on dorms. I power ranked uh, the housing complexes I really uh, would like to have been in. I put on my bottoms the uh, the triple occupancy rooms. It's the rooms that also have a bunk bed in it because that's not big enough. I know that. And um, but I didn't pick any roommates. I just filled the paperwork. So I went to the the line for the housing, and they said, "Okay, you're going to Chatham Square, and you're going to have six roommates in two rooms." And I went. No, but uh, that's that's what happened. Um, personal preference, just because I've done this before, I wanted uh, two bedroom, four roommates 
at Vista Waves because they have better buses. But uh, Chatham's buses are the second best, so Chatham it is. And um, I met all my roommates, and uh, we're we're gonna do just fine. So that's great. Okay, so right after you get your um, housing assignment, they'll circle which one it is on the back of your guy and write the number, which is why I'm not I'm not showing it to you. Sorry. And then they'll tape the key straight to the back. So there you go. Um, oh, another thing about it, you don't get your key right when you get your assignment. You get your housing ID, which is the next booth over, you take your housing picture, mine's awful, and um, then after that you go to the next booth, which is them finding your keys, and they they tape it onto the back. And so after that, you get into another line where you're going to be receiving your ID that you just took the picture for, and that's the end of the inside of the welcome center. All right, then you go to the patio area, which is just outside. Uh, I mean, it's all one roof, but you know how buildings work. Anyway, patio area. Uh, you get into your first line, which uh, they'll give you your schedule, and mine's in here. Um, future me, go over the schedule. Okay, here's my schedule that they gave me. Uh, it's already got my name on it and my numbers, and it folds, but uh, it didn't come like that. That was my doing. And uh, yeah, there it says I've got uh, casting on Tuesday, and I've got a housing event on Wednesday. Or a housing meeting. Got a housing meeting on Wednesday. Then I got traditions on Friday. So there you go. That's my schedule. Back to you, past me. Well done. So again, I have casting on Tuesday tomorrow instead of on Monday, which you know is strange to me because in the past all I ever known was you show up to check in on Monday, and right after that you go to casting. But for me, it said no, no. Your casting's the next day. Then I have a housing meeting on Wednesday, which I think is still normal. But then my traditions doesn't start till Friday, and I'm a little mad about that because traditions is where you get your uh, Disney ID that lets you into the parks and get you the discounts. Um, hello. Bye. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna get that an extra day, which. It kind of bums me out, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And um, yeah, I got all my stuff moved in, met all my roommates, everyone's okay, and uh, yeah, that's that's the end of check-in. Moving on. Okay, so I'll lump my check-in stuff with my drive-up stuff, and uh, we'll make another video for casting in um, traditions, just because it's running a little long, and um, um, it's also worth noting that. Uh, Today's the day Robin Williams died. So now I'll always have that to remember. The start of my fall, DCP with. See ya. But we'll have happier videos in the future. That just does it for the news for the first two days. And, um, yep. Yeah. GTFN.